Hi, this is Kim Hilton. Do you wear a cloak or a robe? Clothing represents people. There are classy name brands, simple colors, tattered hand-me-downs, stripes with checks. You can even identify people from other countries by the way they're dressed. And generally, within a moment's glance, we can generally tell a person's social status by what they're wearing. In the Christian community, what do you wear? Churches are filled with people, and they're filled with hurting people. Unfortunately, we can't tell this at first glance. For a long time, I went to church and just blended in. I walked through the lobby, sat in the pews, stood to sing, and I looked like everyone else. I've held many leadership positions. Yet as I walked, I walked cloaked, never re revealing my true self. I cloaked my weaknesses, camouflaging my true self so that no one saw who I really was. I was a struggler. I felt lonely in a crowded church. Cloaking myself, I didn't have to show that in my journey, I had outright failed. I wish churches had a sign at the door, only those with spots allowed inside. But instead, the church has this clothing brand, leave your spots at the door. So we cloak our true selves when we enter. If there is one truth that I can share with you and teach to you is this. Your greatest testimony comes from your deepest pain. Your story, your struggle, your failures, your testimony can be the key to unlocking someone else's prison. Paul said to us in 2 Corinthians 12, 9, But he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, I will boast all the more gladly about my weaknesses, so that Christ's power may rest upon me. It is in sharing our weaknesses and our struggles that Christ's power will come and rest upon us. That is powerful. We're also told in Isaiah 61.10 that God has clothed us in garments of salvation and arrayed us in a robe of His righteousness in the same way a bridegroom dresses for marriage and the bride adorns herself with jewels. Think about that. The same time, effort, and care that a bride and a groom spend and prepare and dress and prepare for their wedding day is how God dresses us. That means beauty. That's amazing. All those spots that we tried to hide, all those weaknesses we try to camouflage, and here God is dressing us up like a bride and groom prepare for their wedding day. The next time you find yourself wrapping a cloak around your spots, show them. Leave your cloak at the door with all the other mismatched clothing that's there. For in your weaknesses, you are made strong. You are clothed in salvation and wear a robe of righteousness. Don't wear a cloak anymore. Wear your robe. Share your story. Live your testimony. Understand that we are all strugglers and we all have spots. You can always reach me through my website at one truechurch.org. That's the number one, truechurch.org. You can also reach me on Twitter and on Facebook at the One True Church Community. This is Kim Hilton. God bless you.